So, this video is going to be a little bit different. This video is going to be me staring awkwardly at the camera. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to talk to the camera. That's how different this video is going to be. I'm just going to talk to the camera. Because in this game, life, personal training, things like that, a lot of stuff seems unrelatable. People with things like these, muscles, and this, chest, Jules Best, Bird Zest, all this stuff. Seems like it's something that these people have had for their whole lives. Since they've been growing up, they've always been a fit and active, on-the-go person. Well, that, no, 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 wrong is not me. Now, I've done a video like this years ago, a little small one on my Facebook page, but I thought, do you know what, I'm gonna do it again. And because I'm a little older, a little more wiser, I could probably articulate myself a little bit more about the way I felt growing up and how I got to this stage of my life right now. So, I was born here in England and then I moved to America and during my young years of life I was the chubster, the little podgy boy, the little funny fat kid. The um, one that Shamu looked at and went, come on son, jump in with me. Big boy, oh, you're not a whale. Cool. Yes, I enjoyed my food. And you should enjoy your food, okay? You should enjoy your life. But the thing is, I enjoyed it too much and I wasn't as active and I was a young kid. So when you're a young kid feeling like that and you're eating a lot more, you get very, you've got many, many reasons to be insecure and feel uncomfortable about yourself. But I just thought I'd chuck on a few pounds to make it even harder for me. You know, girls, growing up, life, all that stuff. So I felt very insecure. And then I decided, you know what, right? There was a period in my life where I didn't know what I, how to lose what I wanted to do, but I always loved wrestling, WWE wrestling, and superheroes, and I was always fit and active and had muscles, and I wanted that. So I remember I was like, okay, what I'm gonna do is look at everything that had, or every label that had on something, and was like, right, if it's looks high in sugar, I'm not gonna eat it, or if it's high in calories, I'm not gonna eat it that much, okay? So that's what I was thinking, that was my concept. And I also thought, right, crisps, no, fizzy drinks, no. So that's where I started. I remember I started doing that and I started to lose weight. And then I started to put myself through exercise. And then I started to look at things like videos and the way wrestlers would train and lifting weights and stuff. And I didn't know what the f I was doing. But I just started lifting and moving a lot more and kind of thinking, watching what I eat. And it started to pay off because I hated this. So as a kid with my belly and my man titty boob things that I had going on here, now they're kind of pecs. Woo. I hate doing this, right? Always this. Checking my t-shirt. Checking my t-shirt, making sure it wasn't stuck in my fat creases as I sat down. So I'd sit down, I'd always check. I'd go swimming, always fully clothed. There's no way you're gonna get a tan fully clothed, right? Even if your dad is dark skinned, which mine is. Thanks, Dad. So when I do get tan now, I'm like, well, you get proper black and tan and that, but Thing is then there's no way you're gonna get tanned, right? I used to hate it. And going in water with clothes, coming out, water with clothes, just more shit to dry. So I didn't like any of that stuff. Felt very insecure and unconf um, unconfident about myself. Then later in life I got, I started, like I say, be more active, more movement. And then I got went through multiple jobs, multiple jobs. My my whole career, my life, my whole dream of life to continue, obviously to be happy now I'm in that mindset. But it's also, I've wanted to perform, I've wanted to tell stories, I've always enjoyed entertaining people, I've always enjoyed putting a smile on people's faces, taking a story, performing it, being the silly one, being the one where all eyes are on them. Thank you, like now, all eyes on me. 15, 16, 17, 18 views, don't care, it's gonna go up, trust me, this is my word right now. These YouTube videos are gonna go sky high and my confidence is gonna stay leveled out because I'm just a leveled, focused man. But anyway, yeah, so I started to move and started to be active and wanted to, so anyway, what was I saying? I've already done that moving active stuff. I wanted to be an actor. Then also I was like, well, what else do I like to supplement my acting? Because as actors out there know, when auditions are good, they're good. And when they're not, you just, you go through peaks and valleys and a lot of times it's valleys and there's so, so many no's. So I was like, right, let's get into fitness because I enjoy doing that. I know the way it made me feel when I started to lose weight and put on muscle and gain that confidence and go, do you know what, I am kind of worthy. I can see some shape. I do feel good about myself. I am starting to understand food a bit more. So now I was like, right, let's try and project that onto other people because I know how it feels to feel unconfident and insecure. So I started going to fitness, I became a personal trainer, and it's been great. It's been an amazing thing that I'm now doing. And I partnered that wellness of the body 
I then literally moved myself up to wellness of the mind. And then I realized that this is the most powerful thing. Like one thing that I can say, I'd recommend for people to try and do every single day is meditation. Now I know meditation has this stigma of spirituality and all that stuff around it. I get it. But if you want to scrap all that stuff for that side of it, it's training. You're training the mind to do something every day for you. If you don't want to do meditation, maybe read a book. But the meditation puts you in a zone of constantly getting yourself in this focused mind frame. This, this zone where you go, right, do you know what? All that noise, all that stuff, I'm going to channel it to calm and I'm going to try and move forward in that calm state. Right? Just, just imagine this. Say you're walking in to a meeting or an interview or something with that loud, noisy, crazy mind. You're not going to be able to present the best version of yourself. But say you're walking into a meeting or a boardroom meeting with other people and you've got a quiet mind and you're calm and you're collected and you look subdued and they don't know what's going on inside you because you're just there, you're focused, you're calm, you're centered. You can come up with some amazing things because you're clear and you've got clarity. And that honestly has been one of the best things for me. And meditation of the mind, yes, that's my fitness from up there. That's what I work out for up there and I read a lot of books and things. But then for the body, and self-help, because self-help is a thing where it's it's kind of hard, right? I get it, it's self-help, but the thing about that is it's hard to always stay motivated from self. If you're the person who's gonna motivate you, or if you're the, the energy that's supposed to get you up and moving, it's hard, because you're the person that's got you into this stage of feeling down, feeling depressed, or feeling unhealthy, or fat, or whatever it is. You're, you're that person who's got you there, so it's gonna be hard for you to then shift to self-help yourself out. So that's why I believe it's kind of like a community thing. That's why you want to surround yourself with people that are going to build you up and surround yourself with an essence of a community that are going to go, right, I'm going to hold you accountable, you can hold them accountable. And that's also where things like personal trainers come in that people have them. They cre create a little community around them, a support system, they ask for help, they seek the help, and then it becomes a real, real amazing thing for their life. Now, I've got clients that come in, come in for a while, you're supposed to hit a little target, hit a goal, and then in a sense, send them off. Personal training is never a forever thing, right? Never, never say that you're gonna keep them on for the rest of their life, but that can happen. I've, had, I've now had clients over two, three years ongoing because they just love the way it makes them feel and they love coming in without the mindset of thinking what they have to do in the gym. I'm there with them, I, I try and motivate them, keep them inspired, I have that workout there for them and we go get it. And I always grind my clients in the AM, right? T-shirts to come for them, but they're all gonna be AM beasts. They all win the morning, win the day. And that's what I like to think. And that's what I like to do. So that is kind of a reason, a little backstory, why I got into it and what makes me, me. These are going to fade, these are going to fade, this is going to fall out, all of this is going to fall out and fade as well. It's all going to go, all of it. So try and focus and get a nice, focused, calm, happy mindset and let the body follow. Wellness of the mind, wellness of the body, right? You want to keep this moving. So yes, this might fade, but keep it moving. Keep those muscles lifting, keep your joints flowing because they might deteriorate a little bit, but you can keep on top of it. And if you don't use it, you lose it. You can have a happy, long, fulfilling life with a body that works for you and a mindset that is just as strong on top of it, okay? Partner your whole self together from top to toe because you are worthy. You are worthy and you deserve to see what yourself is like at 110%. And those people around you that you love deserve to see what you're like at 110%. And you know what? They deserve to see you maybe flexing. If you want to flex them, flex. Feel good. Earn it. You see people that post stuff on social media. Yes, there's a lot of BS stuff. It's highlight reels. But then you see people that post stuff and then you get people that kind of hate on them. They've got to understand. These people that post some things, man, they've worked their asses off to get where they're at. So if you feel good about yourself, if you have self-love, take that photo, put it out there if it makes you feel good. But I'm saying, that, but what also, don't put the things out there if you're seeking, if you're seeking people's justification for the, if you're worthy or not, right? That's something you shouldn't do. But if you feel good about yourself, post it, let the world see it and leave it as it is. But just know that you're worthy, know that you are enough and know that things can change if you put your mindset to it and change, right? So that's why I become a personal trainer. That's my why, that's why I do my things. I wanna love the world. Hopefully the world loves me back. Like it, subscribe it to this channel. Go and click that button, press it now. You see, if it says subscribe and there's no D on it, be a bit kinky and throw a bit of D on there. Go on, give it the D. That button wants the D. It wants the, the D, right? Press it, all love. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Video coming Friday again. Yeah.